welcome back to this channel. It is your resident internet nail enthusiast with zero technical training. Today, we are going to be trying this look, this pop art look. It has been trending a lot lately. I want to get on the bandwagon. I also think it'll probably be cute for like a Halloween idea. So in order to create this look, I'm going to be using some new products. So I'm going to be using this gel-like product, uh, long coffin, soft gel tips. So I'm gonna go ahead and size out my nails. When I do uh, my nails, I have a tendency to use the Korean adhesion method, the Korean extension method, whereas where you pull the nail up a little bit and you leave a gap. You can even pull it up this far, I've done this. You really essentially treat the nail tip as like a tip, right? Like a tip that you normally put up here you just move it up a little bit. This makes it way easier to blend the bottom of that nail tip or um, fill it in with a gel. So sometimes I don't actually have to worry about doing any filing when I do it this way. So let's get my sizes. So that is my thumb, the last one. We're gonna pull it up. Okay, so that is the sizing done for gel-like. We are gonna use the gel-like six-in-one glue gel. Now this is the system that goes together. Uh, and we're gonna see how it works. So now we're gonna do the prep for the set. Uh, we're gonna do the McCartnell dehydrator, then the McCartnell primer, Jello Jello peel off base coat, and then a base coat. I want this set to last me about 10 days and I have found that for me, this is the best combination to get that. After 10 days, I can then just pop them off normally, but I do get pretty strong wear by using this combination because I know a lot of people are trying to find a peel off combination that works for them. Also, for those of you um, that are trying to figure out what comes first, dehydrator or primer, Dehydrator always comes first because think of it as dehydrating the nail, cleaning the nail. You wanna cleanse the nail before you prime the nail to paint over it. Think about how a painter has to put primer on the walls before they paint the walls, right? So like that, but what do you do before you paint the walls? You you probably clean them first, right? So clean, prime. Jello Jello Peel Off, ba Peel Off Base Coat is actually a Korean brand. I have not yet saw this product in any American stores. I personally bought this product from Korea and then shipped it in. Then after that step, then I put a base coat on top of it. So we're gonna go ahead, get started with the ritual. So I just do this. And I love McCart's dehydrator because it smells like watermelon. Then we're gonna prime. And I think some people may be thinking, well, if you're gonna have a peel off base coat, why would you? why would you prime? But for me, the peel off base coat isn't necessarily because I want to have short wear nails. It's just that I wanna get the nails off easier than having to file them down, soak them off. It's just too much work, I don't wanna do it. So doing it this way, I find I get about 10 days of wear out of it. I've had sets that I've done like this before where they lasted for three weeks, no problem, no lifting, no nothing. Then we're gonna take the Jello Jello peel off base and we're gonna put a strip down the nail. So you wanna avoid the cuticle area and you wanna avoid the sides unless you specifically know that you wanna take it off quickly. So I do it like this in the middle. And then we, we cap the edge just down the middle, not all the way to the cuticle because you want it to adhere and you don't want it to lift. Just down the middle of the nail, that's it. You don't need much. We're gonna cure this for 30 seconds. Then after that layer, we're gonna apply a base coat and then we're gonna apply it correctly this time, right? So we're not leaving any edges out. And the reason for that is that you still wanna base coat to protect your nail. But remember with the peel off base, it's not covering the whole nail. So some parts of the nail don't have uh, protection on it. So we just wanna come back around. 
This also caps that peel off base layer. I don't know why it works, but I have done this so many times and it works for me. Cover that whole nail with base. Now we're gonna start applying the nails on using the glue gel. What typically what I do is just put a, a layer in the nail. Now there's no explanations about etching the nail. And so we're not gonna do it. Now that they're all on, we're gonna put them in the big lamp. So now that they are fully cured, I wanna go ahead and I wanna take off anyone that has a nub, like this one. So for those of you that are curious, these nubs are where the nail is removed from the mold. So I'm just gonna take a nipper and nip those off because I don't like to file them off. I hate the feeling of like filing like nails like this, like the feeling of filing a press on nail, to me that's like the worst feeling ever. So now I have to take care of these areas here where the cuticle is, that gap between the tip and the cuticle, we're gonna take care of that. We're gonna fill that in before we actually continue the process of building the actual nail. We're gonna use a base gel in order to fill it in. This is the base from, from the nail, that's a Korean brand. So we're gonna use this base gel and we're just gonna fill in the nail while adding our first layer. So we're gonna put like a dollop at the end of the nail. See, dollop. And then we're gonna push that dollop in. Dollop over here in the corner, and then we're gonna push that dollop in. Okay. Dollop here in the corner, and we're gonna push it in. Push it in to cover up the separation. So now you can see that you can't see any more separation. And then the rest, the flow over, we're just gonna drag it down the nail. And then that is our base coat. I wanna do it one more time for you to see. Again, we're tackling that gap in between the tip and the cuticle. You're gonna take a base coat and you're gonna leave a dollop on the nail. And then you're gonna take that dollop and you're gonna push it to the back, push it to the side push it to the other side. And then that separation between the nail tip and your nail will disappear. And then the rest of that base coat, you just, you just paint it down the nail. Next, we're gonna use a from the nail top coat to protect the underside of the nail. So it'll protect the underside of the nail and prevent it from turning cloudy every time we try to clean the nail by using like an acetone or an alcohol, depending on what you're doing. It won't go cloudy if you put a top coat underneath it. And it also, because it's an extra layer of product, it also helps with the reinforcement of it. So I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna push it down, and then we're gonna drag it up. Now we're going to reinforce the nail. To me, I still feel like it's just too thin for me. It's a little too press on -y still, so we're gonna make the nail thicker. In order to do that, you can use a builder gel because these are soft gel, and so they work well with builder gels. And 
I'm going to use a builder in the bottle, but you really could use any kind of builder gel product if you wanted to. You could use a more flowy builder gel product if you wanted to. It doesn't really matter which one you use, but I have a tendency to reserve. I have a tendency to reserve my my bottle, my builders in the bottle for days where I'm like, oh, I can't be bothered. these are the polishes that I'm going to use. I've already put them in order of what finger I want to put everyone on. And this Vinalisa is actually a fluorescent pink color. And I'm going to use this one because I do not have a pink and from the nail brand. But I think it'll be a good pink to use for this pop art. on the nail and make them poppy. What I have done is taken some oil, I put it on a pad on the oil. I've taken some alcohol, I put it on the pad and then I've wiped that sticky layer off. Some people like to do a matte top coat, but I find that, you know, if you wipe the sticky layer off, it goes matte on its own. So I've been doing that way for a while. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make the accents.
So I did some nails off camera to get a feel for it. I'm now gonna show you how to do the shading, so how to get that shade color, and then the little accents that make it look cartoony. So I still need to do shading on this one, and I still need to outline this one. So let's do the shading first. You can see I already have my palette where I shaded some of the other colors. Shading is super easy. All you do is take the color that you use, and so I'm gonna put a little bit of a dab on the palette here. Do a little bit more. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of black. And then I'm gonna take my stick that I have been using to mix all the other colors. And we're just gonna mix it together until we get a darker shade of this. So it's kind of like this poop color that I'm not the biggest fan of. I think I went a little bit too ham, so I'm gonna try to put some white in it now. See, and try to lighten it up a little bit. So we're gonna do some white, and I'm gonna do another little bit of orange. And so for all the colors you use, you just kind of mix it until you get the right shade color. There is no right shade color. The, sh the right shade color is just the one that you like. So you just keep going until you get a hue that works for you. So I like this kind of weird, muddy orange color. I'm liking this area right here. So I'm just gonna do this a little bit until I can smooth it. And then we're gonna use this one. Good thing is you don't need a lot. So. This little area in the corner is the only one I like, but I think I have enough to salvage. So we're gonna take a detail brush. And then we are going to do the shading. Actually, I think I wanna do the shading on this side. So I'm gonna put my hand down like this. We're gonna do it from like here. And you're just gonna put shading on the corner of the nail. I'm gonna bring my shading up to here just cause I like how that looks better. But I've seen, I've seen people just do a little shading in the corner. I think it's just up to your preference. So now we're gonna be doing that black shading around the edge of it um, to get that pop look, I'm so excited. Take this clear gel, which is that builder gel from from the nail, and I'm going to add another layer. The reason why I'm doing this is because I don't like to just add a matte top coat. I think adding a matte top coat makes it streaky. So I'm gonna put another layer of builder on top of it. This should smooth out all of the imperfections.
And with each layer, it builds up the nail. 